Hi, this is Tony Lee and welcome to my video. This is a pandemic of misinformation. Recently, CDC publicly admitted they made a coding error. They overcounted the total COVID deaths. They had to make a correction for this number. However, the fact is uh, CDC is a science organization which has 10,000 employees and the CDC has billions of budget every year. Apparently, accounting is a very difficult still even for a science organization like CDC. Previously, I made a video about this uh, CDC's mistake. You can click this link to know more detail about this uh, CDC's mistake or you can check the link in my video description below uh, to see this video. And the CDC not just made a counting mistake, they also published the contradicting study during this pandemic. Previously, CDC published a study saying that vaccine immunity is much stronger than natural immunity. Uh, however, later, they publish another study that suggests the natural immunity is much stronger than vaccine immunity. And I also uploaded a video about this and you can click this link or check the link in my video description. Today I'm going to share you another CDC study. They did an estimation on how many people suffer a rare side effect called anaphylaxis after taking the nRNA vaccine. And the result from the CDC is different from another study from an established hospital by 100 fold. How come there is a such massive difference let me share the detail about these two studies. So first, uh, let us look at this uh, CDC's uh, study. I'll include the link for you in case you want to read this uh, study yourself. So here is the title. Allergic reactions including enough lexis after receive a first dose of Moderna COVID-19 vaccine, uh, United States from December 21st, 2020 to January 10th, 2021. In case you're not familiar with the anaphylaxis, here is from the CDC, it says anaphylaxis is a life-threatening allergic reaction that occurs rarely after vaccination. On December 19, 2020, the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, ACIP issued an interim recommendation for use of Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. As of January 10th, uh, 2021, a reported 4,041,396 first doses of Moderna COVID-19 vaccine had been administered in the United States and the reports of uh, 1,266 adverse events after receipt of Moderna COVID-19 vaccine were submitted to the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System, also called FAIRS. Among these, uh, 108 case reports were identified for further review as possible cases of severe allergic reaction including enough lexus. Among these case reports, 10 cases were determined to be enough lexus. So here is the result, a rate of 2.5 enough lexus cases per million Moderna COVID-19 vaccine doses administered. According to the CDC, this is an extremely rare side effect. As you can see, a rate of 2.5 cases out of a million doses. Uh, now, let us uh, look at uh, another study done by an established hospital. 
So this study is published on the JAMA website. It is a peer-reviewed study and I'll include a link for you in case you want to read this entire study yourself. Acute allergic reaction to nRNA COVID-19 vaccines. So here is the method they used to do the estimation. We prospectively study the Mass General Brehan NGB, uh, this is the hospital. Employees who received their first dose of an nRNA COVID-19 vaccine. The time period is from the December 16, uh, 2020 to February 12, uh, 2021. For three days after vaccinations, employees completed symptom surveyed through a multi-prone approach including email, text message, form, and the smartphone application link. So as you can see, the main difference uh, between the CDC's study and the this uh, NGB's uh, study. The CDC's study used the various data, and the various data is only for people who voluntarily report the side effect. However, for NGB's study, they actually reach out to each employees and get the survey from each of them. And here, let me show you the result. Of 64,900 employees who received their first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, 40% received the Pfizer and 60% received the Moderna and at least one symptom surveyed was completed by uh, 52,805, 81%. And uh, here is the number about the anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis was confirmed in 16 employees. So the rate of uh, anaphylaxis is uh, 0.025 percent with confidence uh, interval the 95 percent compared to the CDC's result CDC's result is uh, 2.5 out of a million so if you do the math it's about 100 times uh, difference so there you go so result from the CDC's study and the NGB's study is by 100 times a difference Obviously, both of them cannot be true at the same time, and one of them is lying. And I'll leave the final judgment to you because I'm just here to provide you the data and evidence. So for the bonus, I'm going to show you another study from Harvard. So according to this Harvard study, they found the number from the VAERS vaccine adverse event reporting system is actually uh, 100 times less than the numbers from the real world. Let me share this uh, study quickly with you. And also, I'll include the link for you in case you want to verify this study. So here is the title, Electronic Support for Public Health, Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System. So this study was done about uh, 12 years ago. So you can see, so it was a long time ago. And if you go down to the page six, uh, I'll just, because of the time, I'll just show you the result. So here is the result. Fewer than 1% of vaccine adverse events are reported. So that means uh, they are 100 times the difference uh, between the numbers from the bears and the real world number and the 100 times different is exactly the difference from the CDC's study and NGB's study. Is this a coincidence or not a coincidence? I'll leave the final judgment to you. I'm just here to provide you the data and the evidence. So if you think this video is informative, uh, please hit the like button so more people can see this video. And also share this video with more people because the, a lot of uh, folks from the CDC and the FDA, they don't want 
more people to see the truth. Thank you for watching today's video. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.